Good morning, everybody. Coach Darren here, Fitness Over 50, where we don't go old. No, we age like a fine wine. And it was the night before Thanksgiving. All the house was quiet. Anyway, it is the night before Thanksgiving, and I was talking to my badass boot camp folks this, just a little while ago, and I was telling them that one of the joys of life one of the things that makes your life happy and fulfilling is to in occasionally indulge. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and I know people want their turkey, people want their stuffing, they want their cranberries, they want their uh, you know mashed potatoes and gravy and everything. And I told them, look, you got to enjoy your life. You can't just starve yourself. You can't you know, constantly be perfect. There's a time when you can. Just enjoy yourself and enjoy your Thanksgiving Day meal. You don't get fat from one meal. You don't lose weight by eating one healthy meal. It, t it takes you know, a course of consistency and a long time of eating very poorly to gain a lot of weight. It also takes a course of being consistent and eating healthy all the time to lose the weight. But there are certain occasions where you know, I talk about enjoying yourself. Indulging a little bit. Try to control your portions. Don't go absolutely bonkers, but enjoy yourself. It's important in order to, you know, these days we're going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the world. On tomorrow, Thanksgiving, you know what? Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your Thanksgiving meal. Don't worry about it. I promise you, I'll be here for the badass boot camp and we'll get you back into shape. And one meal is not going to kill your entire diet, your entire program. So what is the one thing that even if you work out all the time, you're never going to get results if you keep doing it? That one thing is eating poorly. And that's what we were just talking about. If you don't dial in your nutrition, you're never going to get the results that you want to see. Weight loss is all about adjusting your nutrition. Uh, and a lot of the trainers will say, abs are made in the kitchen. Abs aren't made in the gym, the abs are made in the kitchen. That's because it's all about the nutrition. If you eat like crap, no matter how much you work out, you're not gonna get the results you want. So I'm gonna go real quick through the very bare basics of one of the nutrition programs that we use. And in this nutrition program, there's four easy to follow principles. The first is water first. Our body is made up mostly of H2O, water. We wanna make sure it gets the fluid, the hydration that it needs. So we're gonna do water first. And the best measure to figure out how much water you need is to just take your body weight and divide it in half, and that's how many ounces of water you should be drinking. To make it easy, let's say you weigh 200 pounds, you cut that in half, you should be having 100 ounces of water a day. Not all at once, <laughs> broken up over the course of the day. Now you will find that you probably need to run to the bathroom more often, be aware of that, but by drinking that water, it's gonna make you feel full more often. I, I recommend in this program, that you drink 16 ounces of water, so you know, a pint glass. The amount of beer you probably normally drink. Uh, a pint glass before every meal. That 16 ounces is gonna go down into your stomach and it's gonna make you feel more full. So when the food hits it and expands, you're gonna feel more full. So if you eat three meals a day, that's 16, 32, that's 48, you're already halfway there. And then just drink some more water over the course of the day. The second principle is veggies most. So when you're putting out your plate and you're setting everything up for when you're about to eat and you're looking down at the plate, you want to make sure that it's mostly vegetables. So you got your plate here, your protein, your meat or whatever, veggies. And I would add uh, to this little area carbs. 
because a lot of veggies have carbs in them too. But you want to make sure that it's veggies most. This is the simplest diet plan you can follow. Water, veggies most. Look at your plate. Huh, okay, it's about three quarters vegetables. You know, salad, whatever. That's that's about as easy as you can get. Third, and I know this this one's taboo. Weigh yourself daily, every day. It's nice to have that metric. You're going to see your weight fluctuates. You might not even know why. It might be, well, I retain more fluid that day, or who, who knows. But it's interesting to see the fluctuations. When you eat crappy the day before, it's very interesting to see what it does to your weight. When you eat super healthy the day before and you work out, you do a hardcore workout, it's interesting to see the next day uh, where those metrics are, what it's done. And by tracking every day, uh, you're going to have you know, something to really look at and see how your weight fluctuates. Now, I have a scale. Um, I think it's Renfo. It wasn't very expensive. Got it on Amazon. That tracks everything for you. All you got to do is step on the scale. It gives you your body weight. Percent of body fat. It gives you your bone density. It gives you your muscle mass. It has all these cool little statistics. Uh, if you look at the reviews of it, it's, it's actually supposed to be very accurate. And it creates all these little charts you can look at. You can see all these cool things. It, you know, looking at your BMI. Uh, and it, it shows your weight progression. It's a very cool scale. Like I said, not very expensive. And it's R-E-N-P-H-O. If you can't find it, let me know. Maybe I spelled it wrong. But I'm fairly certain that that's, that's what it is. And fourth... Track your food every day. This is another one that people are like, ah, oh, so hard, I gotta keep a piece of paper, write everything down. We have freaking smartphones that are smarter than us. There's two apps you can get. You can either get Lose It or My Fitness Pal. Either one makes it super easy. It's got even got has a barcode scanner. So if you're eating something that has a barcode, you just scan it. Bloop, there it is. You just put how much you eat, you know, one serving, two serving, three servings. Be really careful with servings. They're tricky. You know, sometimes the serving is like one cookie. You're like, oh, this is only 25 calories, but it's one cookie. And then you have 10, all of a sudden it's 250 calories. So you got to be careful with the serving size, but track it. Use Lose It, My Fitness Pal. Weigh yourself. You get one of these scales. They're not that expensive, and it'll do all the tracking for you. Water first, veggies most. So workout Wednesday, you can work out as much as you want, but if you're not dialing in your nutrition, you're never going to get the results you want. Enjoy your Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow morning just going through uh, some mindset about things to be grateful for or things I'm grateful for that might help you think about things that you can appreciate in your life. I will see you tomorrow.